subscribe my YouTube channel AWS and press the bell icon for never miss and other updates. Hello friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to learn that how to create a, a lambda function using the Terraform script and how to create a bucket using the AWS API. So let's try to understand how to create the Terraform and how to execute the Terraform script and to create a lambda function. So let's start. So I'm creating one uh, JS file. So Node.js file. So let me show you the file. So I have created. It's a simple program. Just uh, written the. This is my first lambda functions. So you can see that this is my basic script which I have created uh, with name of the main.js. So let's come back and first I will create one zip file which upload uh, in a lambda function. So I'm creating the zip file using the zip command. So I'm creating the zip file for the lambda function. Zip for function dot zip and giving the file is main dot js. So let me open. So the function dot zip is created now. Okay. Then we'll create uh, one bucket for uploading this function to the uh, S3. So let's create the bucket. So I'm creating the using the AWS S3 API. The command uh, command line for the creating bucket. So create bucket. So I give the name of the lambda demo Terraform. So in which region we need to create region US East one. So I'm creating one bucket here using a, a AWS CLI. So it will create one bucket. So let's go to the CL uh, console and you can see here the bucket is created. So it's blank. So now we will put our example uh, function dot zip file to the bucket. So let's copy the bucket uh, uh, function cp. Sorry, yes, you need to give the service name. Then you we are passing the command the copy zip file. The location of S3 bucket. So I'm copying the name here. So I'm copying the my file to the S3. Let's refresh here. So file should be visible here. Okay. So now our the core function is ready. So my file is available in S3. And now I'm going to create a lambda function. So my script, I have prepared script here for Terraform. You can see in main.tf. Okay. So I'm creating here the lambda functions and see the uh, code here so here I'm uh, this is the provided details for the accounts and I'm creating the lambda function here so the source name is AWS lambda function and I given the name is lambda function for reference name function name is lambda test uh, bucket name is here so we we need to update because we have to change the bucket name so I am updating here bucket name So we need to copy bucket name from here. So this is the bucket name and we have given the file name is different. So it's a function dot zip. So this is our file name function dot zip. 
so I have updated the name here. So my main handler is the main handler which are available in the Node.js file and this is a runtime environment and I have given the role for the lambda function execution. So this is the role which I am creating here. So you can see the role here. So I have given the execution permission for the all allow effect for the lambda function. So we, we this is a very basic command. Uh, we are giving the name uh, code as a bucket and code from the bucket and code as a key that's a function dot chip so let's try to run this script here so i'm just doing the terraform init so it will check if anything uh, dependencies over here so no dependency and everything is resolved let me try it with terraform plan we'll show what things going to create here Okay, so it will create one functions here and it will create one role here. So let's try to create the lambda function Terraform apply. <coughs> let's go to the lambda console. So we can see the if there is no uh, lambda function at present now. So at present no functions available here so it's showing the create function here so let's give the confirmation here for creating the function lambda function here it will create a function this function name lambda test and handler is the main dot handler so it will copy the example.zip file for uh, lambda function triggering so so it's created as of now so two resources created one is the function one is the role so let's refresh this screen and you will see the function here so it is in us east one So you can see the one functions lambda function here you can see if i will click the manage function you will see the lambda test here and let's see the details for the function okay so this is my lambda test function and it used the uh, node.js runtime environment and the main.js file which uploaded which we have given is the same main.js file so let's give the hello html file so when we run the functions here so I give the name here test name and it will run here so you can test it okay so this is the functions run details you can see this is the function run details and this is the output fun output for function uh, how many time it's taken the, what is the duration memory size taken so this is the lambda function runs details so, so this is the total executions result so let's go to the script for terraform let's try to understand what script we have created so we have to we don't need to give the details here so you just you have to provide the name here just you need to provide the where you want to take a source for your functions code that is the which we have given the s3 bucket and the functions name is the function dot zip let's think we have to pass the handler and runtime where you need to run the things so basically it's a python it's node.js so you have to pass the node.js as we have used the node.js and the rest of thing is the role for execution permission for the lambda functions so this is the core functions for the creating the lambda function this is the basic uh, example for you can start with the lambda for more details of lambda and how to what is lambda and how we can use the lambda in aws so please go through the uh, lambda tutorial in the same uh, sections 
and thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon for next upcoming video thank you